In this video, I will show you how to grow citrus from cuttings with a good success rate and without accidentally bringing a deadly citrus disease into your yard. The best citrus trees are grafted to unite a rootstock that produces superior roots with a scion that produces superior fruit. I first observed citrus trees being rooted and grafted in one step in a California citrus production nursery. To guarantee a healthy tree, all citrus cuttings originate in an insect-resistant structure from trees that have been tested and shown to be free of disease. This is now the law in California even for citrus trees propagated by hobbyists. A whip graft is used to connect the rootstock to the scion. A rubber band is used to hold the scion and rootstock closely together while the graft heals. Next, the bottom of the rootstock is chopped off. Then the grafted cuttings are dipped in a powdered rooting hormone and planted in a rooting medium. To get roots to grow, the cuttings require the correct temperature, humidity, and amount of light. In the citrus production nursery, this is achieved by bottom heat and mist every 15 minutes. After seeing this in a nursery, I wanted to see if I could make my own grafted citrus trees from cuttings at home in my garage. I wanted to observe the growth of the root, so I made my own pots from clear plastic cups. I drilled holes for drainage and cut off the lips to pack them more tightly. Coconut core is the ideal rooting medium for citrus. Coconut core is a recycled waste product made from coconut husks. It comes in dry bricks that are expanded by adding water. It works well for rooting because of its ability to retain a large amount of water. To achieve the ideal temperature of 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 26.7 degrees Celsius, I put my planting tray on top of a heated mat on top of a piece of rigid insulation. To maintain high humidity, I covered my plants with a clear storage container. Next, I filled my cups with coconut core. In order to avoid infecting my cuttings with any pathogens on the knife, I sterilized the knife with chlorine bleach at a concentration of 1.5%. Before I started, I pre-cut my wrapping material and mixed the rooting hormone. For my graft, I used a grafting technique called Z-grafting. It works very well even for grafting oddly shaped cuttings like this flying dragon rootstock cutting. If you try this yourself, please be very careful with the knife, especially when cutting towards yourself. Locking thumbs and using a sharp knife help to avoid dangerous slips of the knife. Some grafters protect hands with gloves such as these at fruitmentor.com slash grafting tools. For my first example, I grafted a new tangelo variety. First, I cut off the top of the rootstock at about a 45 degree angle. Next, I cut off a small piece of the longer end of the rootstock at a very slight angle. Then I cut a thin strip in the longer end of the rootstock and left it attached. Next, I cut off the bottom of the scion at about a 45 degree angle. Again, I cut off a small piece of the longer end. I then cut a strip in the longer end of the scion. Next, I fit the scion into the rootstock to form the Z. I wrap the graft union with a product called Parafilm M to seal the graft and hold it in place. Next, I wrap the graft with a rubber band. The next step is to cut off the bottom of the rootstock, dip it in rooting hormone, and then plant it. For further details, see fruitmentor.com slash citrus rooting. For my second example, I grafted a scion of the lemonade lemon to a carrizo rootstock cutting. Like the citrus production nursery, I use disease-free cuttings from a registered source. This is now very important in California and also many other parts of the world. Citrus trees get sick just like people do. 
In California, we now have a disease called Wanglong Bing that is 100% fatal to citrus trees. It reduces the life expectancy of citrus trees from hundreds of years down to around five years. In its early stages, the disease is very difficult to detect, but still extremely contagious. We also have insects called citrus psyllids that spread the disease. The disease is also easily spread by human movement of citrus trees and cuttings. A vegetatively propagated tree will have any diseases present in the mother tree. To avoid accidental outbreaks of disease, hobbyists in California who propagate citrus now order cuttings from a program called the Citrus Clonal Protection Program, or CCPP, instead of taking cuttings from trees outside. I have made a video that shows how to set up an account and order citrus budwood from CCPP. You can click here or visit the link below. Much of the world now shares California's problem with citrus disease. The CCPP will ship budwood anywhere in the world where the local laws allow it. At first I started out with these T12 fluorescent lights. I set up my heating pad, tray, and thermostat. Then I added the plants, misted them, placed the temperature probe, and added my cover to maintain a humid environment. I found that it was adequate to water and mist the plants every one or two days. Within a couple of weeks, many of the buds on the cuttings began to grow. Within a few months, I had some plants that were growing roots, including the tangelo tree and the lemonade tree. I gradually reduced the humidity for these plants before moving them outside and planting them in bigger pots. Citrus trees are sensitive to rapid changes in light levels, so over a period of days I gradually increased the amount of light that they received. The rest of the plants were not developing roots, however. Suspecting that the T12 lights were not powerful enough to induce roots, I upgraded to T5 fluorescent lights. It was summertime and the extra heat from the T5 lights resulted in a fatal temperature for citrus plants. I decided to try again in the wintertime, but with a new controller that could control both the heating mat and also a fan to keep the temperature in the right range. For the second batch, the T5 lights and fan increased my success rate from around 10% to between 60 and 70%. I experimented with other pots and also with rock wool and found that the large cups worked the best. Here are the first rooted plants of my second batch ready to plant in bigger pots. I have made this video to save citrus trees all over the world from deadly diseases. You can help by keeping home propagated citrus trees at home. If you would like to give a homemade tree to a friend, instead of citrus, try rooting another type of fruit tree such as a fig tree or a pomegranate tree. They are much easier to root than citrus and do not have the risk of spreading disease that citrus trees have. You can also help by sharing this video, by giving it a thumbs up, and by subscribing to this YouTube channel. If you have any questions, please ask below in the comments. I will be happy to answer. Also, be sure to download my free ebook at fruitmentor.com slash grafting tips.